Ed from Pinball Mayhem here. I wanted to show off a new mini project I picked up. It's just a kind of a short term, not a huge in depth restoration or repair. These are uh, what we would call wall games. They're still in the arcade realm where they do have a wall box sometimes. And here's what the wall box would look like for a different wall game. This is Kennel Club, a game which I actually am looking for because it is Greyhound uh, related and you've seen some Greyhounds uh, rescue racing Greyhounds in some of my other videos. So this is what the, the coin box could look like. But there's also different options. There's, you know, they're, they're fairly simple. This is made by, you can see here, Computer Logic. This is called the Intrigue series. This is two different games, uh, mostly the same setup. Uh, minor differences, I would say, would be the finish of the cabinets. You can see this is uh, the front game here is darts. The back one is bow and arrow. You can see the darts has two different finished cabinets. I don't know if that was uh, maybe someone did a little mix and match at one point, or they just didn't really matter. But the, uh, the bow and arrow actually matches. But the front frames are fairly similar. Let's see, we got more of a green frame. It's actually the picture frame material, and these two have more of a, a white, white gold um, strip in the middle. Uh, so let me uh, let me uh, discuss these games a little bit. Now these, as I said, they're a wall game. They would be generally hanging behind a bar, and uh, you would you know tell the bartender I want to play it. So either you would pay the bartender and he would hit a button on them to give you a credit, or uh, you would put the coin in the coin box and grab the controller. And there's two different styles of controllers that you would find. First off, I'm just gonna hit the on switch here, and you get to see them uh, lit up. So the back one is the bow and arrow, and both these games I purchased as kinda works, need work. And here's the front of the uh, the darts, and here's the front of the other one. Now, if you notice, the digits on the bottom are not very visible because on the inside, the digits are actually on the board. So if I were to close this a little bit more, you'd be able to read it. But I'm gonna leave it open for a specific reason so I can show you guys the inside. So that's kind of the game. So you have, uh, it's very, you know, let's divide it out into to, uh, how I'm going to fix these up. I got cabinets and cleaning, which is where we're going to start. Is uh, There's some loose loose joints. Uh, I've already hammered some of the staples in the back just from being um, badly transported. What happens is, because those lights push on this board uh, when these hinges are off. So if they're stacked improperly, we can look at the bottom of this. This is literally a picture frame. So you see here it's actually pushed in. So I have to reaffix those staples. I'm gonna clean it before I do that. And uh, all of them have at least one or two corners loose that need to be re-glued. So that's gonna be kind of my first thing. Clean all the schmutz off of them inside and out. And, uh, uh, you know, make the cabinets everything fit so I can hang them on the wall. These would hung, hang on the wall. And as you can see with that gray cable here, goes between them, you can have them relatively close or you can have them at a distance apart. Now, uh, they didn't lock. They were not meant to be in the public realm to be touching these or anything. They were generally just inaccessible. And the bartender would, you, you would, as I said, pay him. Now, this one here is set up for a coin box. But being that darts is a more popular game, we can see here's the control board. Uh, here's the light board. And uh, these wires right here go to the coin switch. Uh, on the other one, you'll see there's actually a three pin plug that's supposed to be here and then it would go the other one let's just go back there right now has a coin switch in the bottom so that's where the bartender would reach inside and just or reach on the bottom and just tap that switch give you a credit and there's that three pin plug that goes down the switch that's the way it's supposed to be now that six pin plug i don't have a manual i don't know what that's for yet but we can see here this game is also has an extra board on the left that would be the receiver and it says in the writing to the right of it in pencil, red to green, blue to blue, and black to black. So the red wire is the power for that receiver. The black is the common, and the blue is the switch. So if you're wiring these to an external switch or a switch box, that would be if you had a remote 
that was not this wooden homemade one. It would be more of a plastic remote that actually transmitted, so there would be no wires. Of course, you know, those could walk off. By now, they got smashed, so that's probably one thing that's harder to find. This game doesn't have any of those. So let me go back to this first one. Look a little bit. Now, you can see the spots where that board would be placed, and the spacing is a little different. But generally, it's the same. This is filthy on the inside, needs to be cleaned inside and out. But here's the interesting part. Here's the, the, the blue and the black wire, like we discussed, that is wired to this wired controller, which is another way of doing it. All the controller is is a single push button. That's how you play the game. And uh, it's two player. Now, looking at the red wire here, we can see how it's kind of uh, crimped but not actually stripped off. So this tells me, because the red wire is the power for that board, this particular panel never had the receiver or the wireless option. This was always a wired panel. And uh, it looks like there's an extra hole on the top, possibly from someone trying to mount it wrong. That's not really a huge deal to me because you're not gonna see it when mounted on the wall. We have the hole for the cable. It looks like an extra hole here in here this is where the power switch is supposed to be so looking at this other one back here you can see the power switch you can see the power cable so we got the power cable i put a white um lamp cord nice uh, uh 16 gauge just because uh white because i'm going to be hanging on white walls and um this is where the power switch is so i need to get a power switch and install it in this unit uh and this is the darts is probably the one going to go up and let's uh the inside as you can see here's our clip a clasp you can see here it's just a clasp let's take a look at the inside of the panel these are the the holes that line up with the light bulbs on the other side but then both of them do have a selection of of uh, light bulbs clipped clipped in and we look at this one which is the bow and arrow slightly different still has some of the blackout the bottom is the same apparently because these games are all exactly wired and operate the same they were available to change out the front panel. So you would just pull the staples out, change this panel, unplug that, and plug the new one in. So on this panel, you can see where, you know, you don't have that much wasted. Now the other other side, let's look at what, where the other side goes. Now this one, this case is in much worse shape, needs a lot of gluing, but it'll, it'll get there. So we can see the cable comes in. We got a single board in the corner. And then we got our two connectors. Now something is broken on this one where uh, you can see the bottom corner is broke. I'm going to fix that first where um, one of the player's shots lights don't work. So I'm not going to show you with bow and arrow. See, play, play, test your reflexes, play intrigue. That pretty much both says that there's no credits available. And that would be our eight segment display lighting up a zero can't really see it well because it's not closed all the way so it's lighting getting light through the center so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to simulate adding a credit so now I don't know how many credits I added that looks like three yeah that's probably three so uh, I can hit it again there's four you know one two yeah that's four and uh, our scores are zero and zero. Uh, and um, this one is wired with a wireless controller. So I'm gonna show you however far I can how this game basically operates. All right, so we got the right panel and the left. So I'm gonna try to do this while videoing it. So first we have Petite Pearl and then we got Pearl's Bow. I'm going to start with Petit Pearl. You hit the button once to start the throw. Oop, I got a two. So the trick is you have to press the button again. So I'm going to do it for Pearl's bow. A little, oh, no, two again. So you have to time it. So you press the button at the right time to get, uh, to get the, uh, the shot. I must be hitting it too early. I was hitting this yesterday. Two, come on. Yeah, I am not getting this right. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a hit, a hit. So you press the button. 
And with possible lights burned out, it's kind of harder. Yeah, so you kind of get the, the point. It's, it's, it's a little hard to place. So it's all about getting the, the, hitting the button at the right spot. And of course, now that I'm a camera, it's, it's having a hard time doing that. But uh, I was able to hit some tens and some sixes on the lock. And you see the scores add up. And uh, it's kind of a fun way for a, a group of guys to drop a couple quarters and uh, be able to you know, play a game. And with a wireless transmitter and receiver, then you wouldn't even need to you know, worry about wires and stuff. So my thought is, this would be great. This kind of game, even if it was single panel and larger, would be great in uh, you know, our home arcades. And I, I wanted always to play with one of these. It's something that you can put on the wall it doesn't take up a lot of space and you just have a controller and a power switch and um, walk up to it, tap the bottom or wherever you have to hit to get a credit on there. And uh, you can kind of play a two player game while sitting down with your buddies. So uh, I am, I'm actually, I got some plans for these games. Uh, I plan on doing some soldering repair and uh, I'm going to make them work wirelessly again, both of them. Uh, I, got, uh, I got some parts on order, which, uh, I'm going to be showing you guys next time when they come in and uh, be able to try to make a controller. Uh, over time, I'm going, to, I'm going to find a way to make a project box or whatever because the original boxes were not super fancy. They were just a vacuum form ABS box, I believe even with a wooden back and a button on them. So I'm going to be able to, to try to emulate a little bit of that and you know make something uh, to... Uh, to uh, you know, make it at least close to original, and then if I figure it out, I'm going to pass on what I learned to you guys, and hopefully, if you guys do end up getting one of these, you can very, uh, very simply wire in the controller and uh, be rocking and rolling. So, uh, thank you for watching. There will be uh, an update, hopefully, in a, in a couple weeks with uh, how I uh, how I make out with these things.